What's up guys? Thanks for clicking on this video once again here at the Wingman University. Um, I am in full sweatshirt today. I actually have a blanket on and just freezing in the house today. I actually might have to turn on the heat here in Atlanta, which is odd as like two weeks ago it was in the hundreds and now it's dropping down into like 60s and 50s. I'm not a fan of that, but <laughs> that's not the point of this video. Um, today I wanted to kind of pick up where I left off on Tuesday, which is the last video we put out, uh, where I was talking about consistency. And I'm glad that you guys liked that video. I saw some comments in there saying that you were getting encouragement from me talking about that. So um, that's good to know more things like that to come. Um, but today I wanted to continue on that path of, you know, thinking about consistency and trying to dissect myself of why I've been able to be consistent. Um, and a few reasons that I gave last video was like, I have Steven and, uh, you know, it's just kind of built into our process. Like I wanted uh, this thing and I had goals and so I was going after it and I had my brother there like pushing me along so anytime I felt like stuck or defeated like he was the one like kicking me in my back uh, you know as we were like in the same office working on this thing really trying to figure out how to have success with print on demand um, but now that that is not the case, I'm here in Atlanta, he's down in Florida, uh, and I'm by myself, and you know, I still have Steven, we jump on calls almost every morning and talk things through, uh, which is a great thing, but I've uh, realized over the last couple of days, really the last like three weeks, that I've been just pouring into Shopify, um, that the thing that I enjoy, uh, or the thing that helps me stay consistent, I should say, uh, is stuff that I enjoy, or stuff that gets me excited, or um, that I can see like making progress in a direction that I want to go. And I think we've talked about that a little bit uh, in some of our teachings saying like, you know, when you're thinking about starting up and picking a customer base, you should definitely go after things that uh, you have some previous knowledge of. Usually things that we have knowledge of are sometimes things that we enjoy. Uh, and so we said like taking a hobby that you enjoy and using those type of uh, like the imagery that would work there and the language and uh, you just having kind of some knowledge of that area helps. And I think it's the same thing when it comes to being consistent. Consistent. And so um, mostly speaking about like what platform are you going to pour your time into or what is going to be the thing that helps you stay excited about this business as uh, you know, you are going to go through ups and downs in this business. You're going to hit those walls. You're going to see those bottlenecks uh, and it can feel discouraging, especially as we're doing these coaching calls. Um, you know, a lot of people just say like it feels kind of lonely. Uh, you know, some people have been watching us for the three years that we've been teaching uh, and say, you know, like this is the first time I felt comfortable like give, jumping on camera with you and it's always been kind of this like one way uh, or one-sided relationship where like I appreciate the information you guys are putting out but um, I don't get to like talk about this stuff with anyone uh, and you know that brought me back to like remembering the first conferences we went to even how excited I was just to sit in a room of people who uh, even before we were speaking at conferences just going to them and speaking about you know print on demand and the things that I was learning and sharing stuff with people uh, you know at lunch or you know after hours and stuff and then being able to speak at these conferences and uh, share the thing that I'm so passionate about like that always kept um, you know me wanting to move forward and learn more and uh, pursue this career or you know understanding print on demand more and so with all that being said I found myself this week um, you know excited about the stuff that I'm still doing with Shopify and the partnerships and the opportunities that that's opening up and hearing about some different print on demand services that I didn't know existed before um, and just remembering like what a time it is to be in print on demand demand and how crazy uh, this space is getting with, you know, the opportunities that are opening. So um, I'm going to talk about one print on demand in general, but I think it's just to show you guys kind of the possibilities and the things that are becoming available for us uh, to do print on demand with. And I think that is exciting to me. And so I'm hoping to share some of that excitement with you guys where, uh, yes, you might just be doing, you know, t-shirts on Merch by Amazon right now and trying to learn the system and try to make just some income so you can pay for VAs and uh, expand your business. But um, I really think this is a business model worth pouring time into because as we move forward, uh, there are just more and more opportunities where this makes a lot of sense, uh, you know, for the future of selling online. I think a lot more products are going to be print on demand or, you know, created after the sale happens. So there's way less risk involved. And um, technology is actually available uh, nowadays that's helping us do that. And me and Steven have this whole like 30 minute, uh, you know, presentation that we do about, um, 
the 10,000 foot view of print on demand and how it started off with, uh, you know, screen printing and people just actually pushing ink through screens. And now we're at this point where we have DTG machines and these warehouses and all this fantastic stuff. Um, but even since we put that presentation together, I mean, so much technology has come out and allowed us to do some pretty crazy things, uh, you know, with 3D printing and all of these new technologies that, you know, a lot of them, I'm not even aware, like how things actually get done this quick, uh, but it's possible. So let me stop rambling a little bit and just talk about this one specific print on demand service that I found today, uh, or someone actually presented to me as uh, one of our partners. And uh, I was just like kind of blown away by, you know, what is possible now with print on demand. So the website is called shine on and we're going to take a look at it here. This is the Shine On website, and as you're starting to see, it's, you know, Shine On, uh, but as you're starting to see, there's some jewelry scrolling across the screen here, uh, and these aren't just like, you know, um, you know, basic things like dog tags or whatever, which they can actually do, uh, but these are pretty complicated pieces that they're able to now um, sell for us and, you know, partner with Shopify. They have their app. It's all like pretty seamless how it's set up, uh, and it's pretty amazing that designs and pieces of jewelry like this are now available for print on demand. Um, when I started looking at some of the things and they even show, uh, you know, you design, render, sell, like how crazy is insane is it um, that we can now use like pretty high materials, like high quality materials uh, and make products that can actually be sold to our customers and we never have to, uh, you know, order in super large quantities. We don't have to figure out, you know, all the ins and outs that go into like a normal private label product, um, but we're actually able to do this with a print on demand service. And so to be completely 100% honest with you guys, we have not used this service quite yet. Uh, I know some people in our community have, which is very exciting. Um, but I just wanted to, you know, show you guys, this is the kind of stuff that's becoming possible. Jewelry using, again, these high quality uh, materials is not something I've heard about before. Uh, and so to see, here are those dog tags, you know, uh, and you can put, you know, graphic design and laser etch things on here, uh, but also like leather, which is not something I thought you could like, you know, just laser sketch into leather. I don't know anything about this world. So to see these things that are possible uh, is super cool to me. And so, you know, before I get down too much of a rabbit trail, I just want to take a second today uh, and talk about, you know, these new exciting things that are happening. And um, I don't know if this will excite our community or if this is something you guys are interested in. Uh, but just this idea of if you find something that's exciting to you, it's so much easier to be consistent uh, with that thing. I mean, sales hopefully are exciting to you. That's definitely the thing that I think hooks a lot of people is when they have their first sale, uh, they're like, oh, wow, this thing actually works. I can make a living doing this and I don't have to be tied uh, to one location or have all these products come to my house or wait months and months and months for these private label uh, products to come in, which again, I'm not talking down on all of those, but they don't fit my personal lifestyle. They don't fit the things that I want to do. Uh, so print on demand does fit the things that I want to do, which is travel a lot. Um, and so I just think like, that's what gets me excited. That's what keeps me consistent is if I can stay on the cutting edge of what's going on and see all these new opportunities and ways to partner with people. Um, that's what gets me up out of bed every day. That's what keeps me working at this computer for 12, 14 hours a day sometimes uh, because it's stuff that I enjoy doing. It's a uh, industry that I enjoy watching grow up right in front of us and all these new businesses and ideas, uh, you know, coming out and we get to partner with them fairly seamlessly. I mean, shine on. I'm sure you can just sign up for uh, an account and I, I don't know exactly what the process is, but it's not like you've got to wait uh, uh, you know, six months or a year or get your audience to this size, like they want people to work with them. Uh, and, you know, it's such a, a crazy time that we live in. I know I sound like an older person saying that, but it really is like just to see all the opportunities that are in front of us. So again, I don't know if, uh, you know, print on demand jewelry is the thing that's going to get you excited and uh, make you wake up in the morning and want to do this stuff or come home from a long day at work, uh, you know, uh, and put a few hours into print on demand. But I highly suggest that you just kind of look out there for things that will get you excited. Maybe it is partnering with a certain person uh, of an audience that you really love and you're passionate about. And you're like, man, if I can help them monetize by selling uh, their own merchandise products, you know, that lets me uh, have conversations with them and, you know, sit down at a table and have business deals with them or, you know, talk about things that they could be doing in the future or that fundraising that I do for that group allows them to do uh, all these incredible things. So, um, you know, I think there's a lot of stuff that you can get excited about and find a way for print on demand to 
help you, uh, you know, achieve those goals or help you just stay excited about that while also uh, making some money and making some profit off of, uh, you know, this uh, ability to print a ton of different products, supply so many different audiences and people. And um, yeah, I'm just excited. So I'm going to get back to work today. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, we are still doing our 20 minute uh, calls, our one on two calls that we're doing. Me and Steven will sit down with you for 20 minutes and just talk about, uh, you know, where are you at in your business? Where are you at with print on demand? How can we help? Uh, and really what we're doing there is we're not trying to push you into anything or sell anything. We're trying to gauge where our audience is at, uh, engage the kind of content that we want to be making for next year and make sure that it's still relevant to you guys. If you guys still need uh, a ton of help just getting started and, um, you know, where to start and what platforms to use and all of that. We feel like we've covered a lot of that, but packaging it in a better way that is actually accessible to a lot more people uh, is something that we're working on. But we are hearing a lot of uh, unique questions and problems that people are finding themselves in and wondering about marketing and KDP and, uh, you know, even outside of that, what are we doing past Shopify? How are we partnering? How are we structuring deals? All of those questions that we've gotten, I'm like, I'm excited to talk about this stuff again. So I've said it in the last couple of videos, I feel like this is really breathing life into this business again. Uh, it's making this teaching business more exciting for me to connect with you guys in this way. Uh, and I think, again, some of that might be due to me not traveling as much, not going to all the conferences I was. Uh, so getting to do that, sitting down with you guys, uh, we truly just want to see where you're at, what you're struggling with. If you feel like you don't have uh, any unique situation you're in, uh, but maybe you're just starting out or maybe you're at, you know, we've talked to some people in the 20,000 tier and they're just looking for a way to more streamline what they have going on or uh, how do their VAs work together a little bit more seamlessly. And so, you know, we don't know everything but we've been through quite a lot in the last three years that we've been focused so much on print on demand uh, and even before that Stephen, with all his Amazon knowledge and my uh, knowledge on designing and you know making things a little bit more streamlined I think that uh, we can help a lot of people and just suggest things we're not gonna again sell you anything we're not telling you you have to do it this way um, but we want to be here for you guys we know that it can be lonely sometimes we know it can be a struggle sometimes and so we just want to be your wingmen uh, and help you along and help you keep sailing all right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Leave a comment, leave a like, all that good stuff. And we hope to see you guys next week. Uh, Monday, our show is on Monday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, still happening. Link is in the description below. If you want to join us live and come and talk with us, hang out with us uh, as we're just answering some questions over there too and talking about Q4. All right, guys, thanks so much. I'll see you later.